But first, in good health, every 43 seconds, someone in the U.S. suffers a heart attack. What would you do? Would you know what to do if it was you? Dr. Frank Me George here with the four steps that could help save your life. If you or someone near you is having a heart attack, the decisions you make in the first minutes can be the difference between life and death. Step one, call 911 or ask someone to call for you. Emergency responders have equipment and medications that can help save you. Get them on their way right away. Step two, chew an adult dose of aspirin. That's 325 milligrams. Now this is something you should have handy at home, and this is important. You wanna chew the aspirin instead of swallowing it. That helps it get absorbed much more rapidly. Also, an aspirin can help thin your blood just enough to let a little extra squeeze by a blockage, and that buys more time. Step three, reduce the strain on your heart. Lay down and try and stay calm. Now it's okay to recline if that makes it easier to breathe, but don't stand up and move around. Step four, grab the AED if there is one and have someone ready to do CPR if needed. Heart attacks can lead to cardiac arrest where the heart stops beating. If someone becomes unconscious and is not breathing normally, you need to start CPR and use the AED until rescuers can take over. Now, if you have enough people, send someone to get the AED at the first sign of trouble. These are the first steps you need to take if someone is having a heart attack, but don't miss the opportunity to prevent one. Find out if you have high blood pressure or high cholesterol and talk to your doctor about the changes you can make to reduce your risk. Heart disease is the number one killer of men and women, and it's something we all need to take more seriously before a heart attack happens. Back to you. It was Eric Steinhaus playing the part for us there, including chewing the aspirin. You did a so, good job. Yes, thank you, Eric. Very nice. <laughs>